Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. I recently picked up this Cytron SRS2 red dot sight. It's a reflex style sight. I'm gonna put it in one of my revolvers, but I thought I'd give you guys a rundown on this sight before I do that. And then we'll, I'll put it on there and we'll do some shooting toward the end of this video. But there's not a lot of information out there on this sight. That's the reason I'm choosing to do a unboxing, if you will. I don't do a lot of unboxing videos on my channel, but I think it might help somebody out if they're looking at this. Speaking of the box, we'll look at the information on the box here. It says length of the sight, 2 inches. Weight, 1.2 ounces. Included accessories, battery, which is pre-installed. That's not, that's kind of a joke. I got, when I got this one out of the box the first time and tried to turn it on, it wouldn't come on, and it's because the battery was dead. I'd rather they just didn't even install it because since I couldn't get it to come on, I thought something else was wrong. Turned out they just shipped it with a dead battery. So put a new battery in it, it works fine. But it also comes with the Picatinny rail mount, which is the reason, one of the reasons I chose this site. The revolver I'm putting it on uses the Picatinny system. This side of the box doesn't give us much more information. SRS2, red dot sight, electronic sighting device. Over here, we see country of origin. It's made in Japan. Cytron ESD series or electronic sight device series. SRS2 and it has a two MOA dot. For you guys that maybe don't know what the MOA is, that just means if you look through this red dot at a target 100 yards away, that dot is going to appear to cover about two inches of that target. If the target's 50 yards away, it'll appear to cover one inch. 25 yards away, it will appear to cover about a half inch of that target. That's what 2MOA is, minute of angle, it's just a measurement. This is also offered in a 6MOA version. It's still the SRS2, but it's 6MOA, it has a 6MOA dot. If you want a larger dot, you may want to go that route. I wanted the smaller 2MOA dot for my specific application of putting it on this revolver. Fully multi-coated lens, supposed to be coated on both sides of the lens, shockproof and waterproof. So hopefully it's shockproof and waterproof. We'll be testing the shockproof out a little bit because that revolver I'm putting it on is a 44 Magnum. So we'll see how, how it holds up to the shock. But that's uh, really all you get information wise on the box. So let's go ahead and open it up and have a look at the actual components. So let's see what we've got here. On the top, we've got a, a tool. This is to open the battery drawer. This thing has a battery drawer on the side of it. More on that here in a minute, but that's our tool for that. Here's our actual sight. So just looking over the dot sight itself here, seems very well constructed. It is of metal construction. I think that's this upper frame is uh, appears to be an aluminum alloy while the bottom plate is steel the buttons are water sealed and this thing has 10 levels of illumination for the for the dot itself to turn the dot off press and hold either of these buttons for three seconds and to turn it back on just press either button and it'll pop back on now this camera won't pick the dot up i'll see if i can Later in the video, I'll see if I've got another camera that'll pick that dot up. Uh, some of them will, some of them won't. Most of them won't. But the dot is on right now, even though you can't see it. It is a nice, crisp little dot. Adjustments for your elevation and your windage are via a little Allen wrench that comes in here. And it is one MOA of adjustment per click. Battery drawer over here. And the battery drawer is also water sealed. That's what this little tool helps you for. Now you don't you don't have to have this tool. You can use anything that's uh, got a flat tip on it to grab that drawer with. But here's your battery drawer. It takes a 2032 coin style battery. I just put that one in there. Again, have no idea how long the battery life will be. I'll find out soon enough, I guess uses the Seymour standard style footprint with the two screw holes and the two sockets. I'll include a link to a pretty good article on the different footprints of these re reflex sites and it gives you some examples of 
which sites have which footprint. But that's a, a look at the actual site. Let's see what else is in here. Got a cover for the site, a protective cover. And here's our Picatinny mount. I haven't even opened this up yet. Again, you can see that Seymour style footprint. These two pins go into those two sockets on the bottom of the site. And again, your two screw holes for mounting the site to the Picatinny mount. Comes with all our mounting hardware and tools to mount it with. I'm not gonna open these down here because I'll lose them. Just two Allen wrenches and two screws. This is our windage and elevation adjustment Allen wrench. And of course, our instructions. Instructions, they kept it pretty simple. It's just one page here you unfold. Got all your instructions here. And it does come with a lifetime warranty. Citron's got a pretty good warranty. If uh, It goes into details on it here, but basically if it ever fails due to something on their end, something's wrong with the site, you can send it in and they'll either replace it or give you a refund. But that's it. I'm going to take this up, put the mount on it, and then mount it to my Performance Center 44 Magnum revolver. Now you can mount this site on anything you want to. The beauty of these little red dot sights is the unlimited ivory leaf. And for the most part, they're parallax free. So you can mount this on a shotgun. You could mount it on a rifle. I'm going to put it on a revolver. You can mount it on a pistol. But I'm going to go up, get this thing mounted, and come back down here and we'll sight it in and do a little bit of shooting. So here you can see that red dot just a little bit. This is still not an accurate representation. But it's as close as I've got with any of my cameras. Most of them won't pick the dot up at all. Here you can see the dot on my backstop there, looking through the lens. The dot looks a lot better in person. You have to trust me on that. I haven't figured out a good way to get a red dot on camera. All right, so I got it mounted up per the instructions that came with it. 10 inch pounds on the mounting screws and 15 inch pounds on the cross bolt. Went ahead and roughed it in at 25 yards. I think I'm pretty close to where I want to be at 50 yards. I'm going to set a target up and we'll find out here in a minute. What I've noticed so far though is how clear this glass is. That it is really clear. I don't see any kind of tint to the it doesn't change the color or, or anything like that. I know to you guys looking at it it looks red, but it doesn't look like that looking through the dot. That's just the coating on the lenses. Uh, another thing I noticed the windage adjustment has got real nice firm tactile clicks you know real positive clicks but the elevation adjustment is real soft you really have to have to pay attention and feel though for those clicks when you're making your adjustments uh, you know this is just a sample of one i don't know if they're all that way or not but i thought it was worth mentioning so i've got a target with a three inch bullseye on it i'll set this up at 50 yards and I usually shoot five shot groups, but since this thing's a six shooter, we'll go ahead and shoot a six shot group at 50 yards and just see see where I'm at and see what it looks like. All right, so I've got the target at 50 yards. I'm just shooting my hand loads. Some, that's a piece of brass there. I'm just shooting my hand loads. These are 240 grain Hornady XTPs over a charge of H110. Get six rounds loaded up here. I do have the chronograph here just for my records, but I'll I'll have that up on the screen for you guys to see as well.
let's see what we can do. All right, so you guys already know what I've done because it's up on the screen, but I can't see anything from here. I'll have to walk down and take a look at the target. That looks good. Man, I like that. I think I'm going to definitely stick with that load recipe. Sorry, I've got my shaky handheld camera here i'll try to keep it as still as i can but that's a that's a three inch circle so we've got about an inch and three quarter six shot group at 50 yards i'll take that man i like that and i was getting good velocities out of that too so definitely going to hang on to that recipe and probably stick with it i like those 240 grain Hornady XDP bullets too. Looks like I'm favoring right. Those clicks are one on my way per click. So at 50 yards, that's about a half inch. So I might make I might make one click to the left and call it a day. Really liking this red dot. So, really that's my conclusion. I really like this red dot. This one's gonna stay. I know you guys that have followed my channel for several years have seen me try two or three different red dots on this revolver. And I always go back to the irons. I love the irons on this revolver. It has a great set of iron sights, but that integral reel just begs for something to be put on there. And these little red dots, uh, they've just, they've came so far with these things. They're really nice. Uh, having the dot, now these these sights, of course, aren't going to uh, co-witness. This is not a, not a revolver I'm gonna take into battle. This is more of a hunting revolver, or for me, a target shooting revolver, recreational revolver. But adding a little bit of height to the sight plane keeps you from having to use so much holdover. You know, it increases your point blank range because of where your where your near zero and far zero is. It increases that far zero. So, you know, there's a lot of benefits to it. I'm not trying to push red dots on everybody, but for this revolver and for me, I really like one on here. And this Cytron seems like a good little unit. So that's all I've got. 
and I'll talk with you guys again soon.